07, I was just chilling, chilling. Because then, you see with all that tick for tat thing I was saying, mm. they kept coming to my house, raiding my house and doing mad things. Like they would come, put me in cuffs, make me stand in the kitchen. But I'm in my boxes. So I'm saying to them like, raw, let me put some clothes on. They're saying to me now, nah, we're arresting you for possession of a firearm with intent to danger lives. But if we don't find the firearm, we're going to de-arrest you. All I'm hearing is de-arrest. Something. Oh, I, I know I ain't got no gun in the house. Nice. Said they'll come. Didn't find nothing. De-arrest me. But like, again, all these things, I, I should have known. Ego, yeah, I should have known to run you, bro. Because mm. we know if I've all got the slightest thing, though, okay. even to just get you on remand, mm. they'll leave you locked up. But I'm just feeling untouchable. Do you get what I'm saying? Then that was like middle of 07. Middle of 07. Then like towards the back end, they've come and locked me up. So then I was just in my room. I was with my little brother, actually. So me and him are in there. They've come in and they've gone, oh, we're arresting you on suspicion of... No, they didn't even say suspicion. said we're arresting you for a shooting that occurred last year on Stamford Street. So when he said that, I just looked at him and smiled. Like, to know you're coming back to me for this, I know I'm gone. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? So for them to it. come back to it, they yeah, have yeah, something. Yeah. So, yeah. To, yeah. so I just smiled at him and he just looked at me and smiled as well. So I thought, yeah, fair dues, innit? That's it. So how long does the trial go on for? Well, not the trial, the whole case overall. How long? You're reminded at this point then, surely, right? Yeah. I got remanded. So I got, I went, I got arrested September the 23rd. I think I got remanded a few days later. Mm -hmm. Then I went to jail. Then while I was in jail, because they sent me up, um, way up north. So in like between Scotland and Newcastle, yeah? Right. So then when I've got there, like a week or so later, they've mm -hmm. come and shipped me out, sent me to Lancaster Farms. So now I'm in Lancaster Farms. And then the screws have come and opened my door one day and said, you, you need to go phone your solicitor. I'm saying, right, why? Said, we've had a message, said, phone your solicitor. All right, safe. Gone and phone my solicitor. Then she's like, listen, don't panic. You're going to be um, re-arrested again, police produce. So I'm like, for what? She's like, I'm not sure, but you'll find out tomorrow. Said, they're going to come get you tomorrow morning. Be prepared. All right, safe. But the man them have been writing me letters saying, right, five or five or taking a piss. They're trying to rope you on them man's case. But I don't know who them man is. That obviously prison letters, like yeah. that's all it said. Five or taking a piss, G, trying to rope you in on them man's case. So I'm like, who's them? Like there were so many cases at the time. Like who is them man? Mm -hmm. Then I've gone the next day. Then I got arrested for some robberies and like five different firearm offenses and all types of madness. So I'm thinking, right. But then obviously the five are telling me who my cold are. They're mm -hmm. saying so on such and such a day, you was with this person, that person, this person, that person. So I'm saying, the fuck? I'm sat there thinking like, it weren't me. But I've gone in there on some gangster thing. Like I'm, do we done like a prepared statement where my solicitor will say, rare ter ter, I'm just supposed to say my name. Mm -hmm. I'd even bother say that. And I'm just sat there just not saying a word, just looking at my man. Then they're saying whatever they're saying to me. And then I've just said, I'm going back to jail now. Then he's just got mad, locked off the thing. And then, but he's told me, the five old told me, this is, how, this is how mad it is. The five old told me who said I was there. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So they've told me someone else's name now. So I'm thinking, my man, I didn't even know this guy was even involved in anything. Like I know this geezer from young. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So then I'm saying to them, I'm a prisoner. I, I'm entitled to a phone call. Mm. Then they're like, you're not getting off. I said, but I'm a prisoner. I'm entitled to a phone call. I'm incited to ex exercise and I'm entitled to a phone call. But I don't want no exercise. Just give me the phone call. My man took me to a side and said, listen, if anything happens to the witness, I'm coming for you. So I'm like, bro, I ain't got no nigga. I'm stood there thinking I've not even done this. So I'm not even worrying about this. I'm more worried about the conspiracy to murder. You got me on. Do you get me? Mm. Made a phone call, told my people, and said, Right, look, they've arrested me again. I'll chat to you proper when I get back to jail. Then they charged me and they sent me back to jail. So I ended up with conspiracy to rob robberies and about five different firearm offences. Right. Did they ever find any firearms now? 
No. The, bro, that had nothing to do with me. Mm. That case had nothing to do with they me. They tried to just tie you in. Yeah, yeah. That they, they did tie me in on it because then I got convicted for it. Oh, for real? How long did you get for that? I got a seven IPP. Okay. Concurrent to my 12 IPP. So what's that? Like eight, 19? Yeah, but they, they rolled, they run together. Okay. So while my 12 was running, my 7, seven was running, running as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and IPP, I kind of know what it is, mm. but it's like... It's like a assessment type thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's a sentence for public protection. So, basically, if you're still deemed as a threat to um, a danger to the public, you'll stay in jail. Mm-hmm. So you kind of have to prove that you're no longer a threat to society. Do you feel as if like jail was good for you? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, 100%. I think it was, and obviously it's about you. But like, I think if you didn't go to jail, you still would have been out here on fuckery oh, until if, you got caught. You would have ended up dying yeah, or just yeah, yeah going, exactly. Yeah. I'm glad you said that, car. Everyone thinks like, oh, if you didn't go to jail when you did, you would have got life off. Up now, you would have still been out on bullshit. Man would have been dead. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Like yeah, dead. Because when I went to the point, I went to jail. The streets was fire. It was fire. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And you can't really take nothing away from them, man. Because they had us under the same pressure we had them under. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So as much as I'm saying like we was active, so was they. Mm. They was doing what they was doing. They was riding on us the same way we was riding on them. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I could have died. Yeah, I probably would have died if I didn't go to jail when I did. And that's the maddest thing. You see, when I went to jail, it was like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, like, like you feel a bit safer. Yeah, 100%. Because like, yeah. the worst thing that can happen in jail, a man can stab up you up. Or stab, yeah. yeah, that's it. But on road, like, anywhere like man could just pop up and just scatter your brains bro do you yeah. understand what I'm saying but in jail it's like worst thing that could happen you'll get rushed or stabbed up yeah a man ain't really trying to kill you in jail yeah for real as much yeah, that, as that's like, a mad yeah, yeah as much as people have lost a life in jail like I stand by no one's really going out trying to kill to you yeah, yeah car you know you're never getting out oh, yeah. even the man them not doing like 35 years if you're doing 35 years in jail, it's not like you sat there riding your 35. Mm. You're focusing on appeals and all them kind of things, like trying to find little holes in the case that can make, you understand what I'm saying? To get you a lesser sentence or whatever. So you're not sat there thinking, I could kill my man now, you know, car. I'm doing 35 years, car. You're focusing on your appeal. Trying to get out, yeah. yeah. So it's a safe place, if you know what I mean. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So during that time period, now you're in there for 12 years straight. And when you first get sentenced, you ain't even... Pro- what do you think, like, of IPP? Do you even think you're getting out? I didn't know what it was. And no one knew what it was. Because right. remember, IPP come out in about 2006. Okay. Yeah. So then we got ours in 2007, 2008. So it's only been out for two years. Mm. So the people that was getting IPP, they was getting, like, six months, 18 months. and So what everyone believed IPP was, if you're never going to get your first parole, so then you have to do your tariff again. Because mm-hmm. realistically, if man are doing six month IPP, you're going to have to do another six months before you can have another parole. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So my my legal team have told my mum, he's got a 12 IPP. So he has to do 12 years, go for his parole. But he's not going to get his first parole. So he's going to have to do his 12 years again. So my mum's saying like, rah, he's going to have to do 25 years, 24 years. So then, they're like, oh, basically, that's how IPP is. Do you understand what I'm saying? So no one even knew what IPP was. I didn't know what it was. Mm. I just thought, rah, i got to do 12 years. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I'm not going to get my first parole. Cool. So through for, for that sentence, what got you through those 12 years? Because I, like, I can't imagine 12 years behind the same four walls pretty much near enough every day. Yeah, car. it's like, for me, it was in the first, like, the first half of my sentence, mm. I was still on wickedness in it, so I'm still repping, I'm still banging and you understand what I'm saying so it's it's more like that's carrying me through do you get what I'm saying like if I see man or man see me then it's going off or it's not or do you understand what I'm saying but then um, I got cat aid I got made cat aid so that's uh, when you're high not high risk but it's like for higher crimes right? yeah 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 so yeah. it's like basically if you're deemed as a threat to um, there's, there's a criteria for it so if you're a threat to the secretary of the state or whatever, some madness anyway, they mm. break it down and you become a category um, prisoner. So it's high security. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you no escape or nothing. But I was 19 at the time. So mm-hmm. they sent me to strange ways. So now I'm in there with like people who are 25 and up, but there's killers in there. People Terrorists, are in, all yeah, all type of mad yeah. things. You understand? So it's when I've gone there 
and I'm chatting to a few of my like older brethren. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like when they're chatting to me, I'm sat there thinking like, hold on, everything what the man them what are younger than them have been telling me, you's like aren't saying that. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what I say. It's like the people that was above me, like they're telling me like, bro, you have to, you have to move like this. So that's why I'm moving the way I'm moving. Mm. But then when I've met the OGs now, mm. they're telling me like that's some dickhead thing. Do your bird and go home to your family. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. Make sure to click on the end cards to watch some other clips as well. And also to let you guys know, all new episodes will be premiered on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash RebDMC. It will be in the description below. You can download the app. You can watch it on your laptop, Xbox, PS4, whatever it is. Whatever you have, you can watch it on. The link will be below. Make sure to follow. And every Sunday, I will be premiering a new DMC full podcast episode. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. Uh, yeah, we're out. Peace.